What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jefferson Ten speaking. A week ago, I gave an in-depth review including static showcasing and test driving on Xpeng's latest production car, Xpeng P5. In that video, I introduced many highlights such as P5 is the first production car on sale right now in the market having two LiDARs which are backing up its city autonomous driving. Some technologies that don't belong to cars at the price range starting below 25,000 USD and a bunch of interesting and funky features that apply to the modern concept of cars that account for not just transportation but also life itself. So be sure to check out those actual experiences of mine after watching today's video where I take you guys to the official release of x P5 that happened half an hour ago together with some specific pricing tiers at the end of this video. Now let's dive into the release. The overall style of this online release consists of many clips from its customers, what they think, what they say, and what they want from Xpeng's products. Also because this is an EV that focuses on practicality and comfort, the competitors chosen for comparisons are actually traditional practical cars like Camry and Magotin, and I think that's Xpeng being pretty brave looking up to challenge the selling products of the market. Now here are some key points. P5 has a family language programmable front headlights with the concept of X embedded, available to play different light languages or even light dances just like my P7. Two LiDARs in the front on the side of the car. When you are within 30 meters range of the car with your phone, it auto unlocks knowing which phone and account that you use to control the car. Get the custom setting for you of stuff like seats, navigation, and voice commands before you even getting 988mm front headroom, 952mm rear headroom, 167mm leg spacing, outperforming Camry by a large degree in terms of in-car spacing. When you are relaxing in this car, laying down, watching movies, drinking cold beverage taken out of the in-car fridge, the ability to control the car using voice commands is even more important than usual. And Xpeng happens to have hands down the most powerful voice command in car system. Many cars can install third-party apps in their operating system, but whether their users would use those apps is a big question. Here are some interesting data from Xpeng P7. 86.7% Xpeng customers have installed third-party apps in their cars, with 46,000 hours spent on those apps to prove that the customers of Xpeng are actually using those apps in this big screen. 99% penetration rate for its voice commands, navigation, and music apps. Now if we compare at the same stage where Xpeng P5 is getting sold 3 times more than its big brother P7 last year, in order to support a potentially higher traffic that might happen in Xpeng P5's infotainment system with a more smooth interaction experience, Xpeng offers Xmart OS 3.0 with the Qualcomm Snapdragon A155P chip. As we're driving it up, there are 32 hollow partitions, 40 sound absorbing cotton packs, empowering a great NVH performance, resulting in only 57 decibels under the speed of 60 km per hour, quieter than the Camry. It takes 7.5 seconds to go from 0 to 100 km per hour and it has a braking distance of 36.5 meters. Not that type of sporty car, but the windage is 0 0.223 and that's really impressive. The range actually differs between different versions from 460 km to 550 km to 600 km which is about 372 miles. With the range test done by a third party car media under regular driving condition, they were able to drive P5 for 446.8 km for the model that claims to have 460 km range and that is 97.1% accuracy from what it claims to having an EDC standards. And that's really solid. And for the 600 km version, they were able to drive for 569 km and that's 94.9% .9 accuracy. Meanwhile, they also did drive a Tesla Model 3 and a BYD hand as a comparison. Here's the result of how P5 outperforms the others. On top of that, Xpeng P5 is ready for the upcoming winter with a standard set of X heat pump smart thermal management system for all models and versions. In terms of logistics, as the first car company in China to have the supercharger network, 
Expo has established 1,596 free charging stations with 400 of their own brand, covering 98.6% of the Chinese cities. The all-time big thing about Expo's product, of course, is their intelligence. Since P5 hasn't been out for the public yet, here's some data for P7 regarding its users with the intelligence concepts. Expo is one of the few companies that have full stacking house R&D. 97% of P7 customers went for the version that contains Xpilot 2.5 or Xpilot 3.0, the intelligent version. Over 50% users have chosen to buy the auto driving software while that number could be less than 2% for most competitors who offer assistant driving in their cars. People actually do recognize Xpone's capability on intelligence and they're buying Xpone products actually for the intelligence, which is an amazing thing to see in 2021 while auto driving isn't one of the primary concerns for users in general. And that was about P7. In terms of what's up next on P5, they have 13 cameras around the car and other sensing units like the 12 ultrasonic sensors, 5mm wave radars, and 2 DJI Livebox LiDARs. That is overall 11 more hardware units than Tesla's FSD. And that backs up Xpon's autonomous driving experience in cities. And these hardwares also enhance Xpon's existing highway auto driving, the 1km memory parking VPA system, and its basic level 2 equivalent assistant driving capability. I do want to be more specific on the city autonomous driving. It contains the module of overtaking in urban roads, traffic light intersection, including left turning and no protection right turning. Dynamic speed adjustment according to the real-time speed limit. Roundabout assistant driving. Wide junction intersection assistant driving. High precision positioning at multiple elevations of fast ways. Bikes, large trucks, stopped vehicles, identification and avoidances. Highway auto driving suites as we talked about in P7's highway NGP. You can check it out in my previous video. Valid parking assistant for the less one kilometer parking upgraded to support multiple levels and auto parking of course and so on i can already imagine there are going to be way more modules regarding the city autonomous driving than the highway ones since it's much more complicated and i'm ready to give you guys a very comprehensive review on those things next up safety test test and test you gotta finish a test before using an auto driving system for expo cars we have seen so many ignorant car owners abusing their car's auto driving system and get themselves injured or killed. That's definitely not what Expo wants to see on their customers. For the proactive safety modules, they have a secondary collision mitigation system actively slowing down and taking control of the car after the first collision to reduce the chance for the second collision. Their batteries can still be functional and safe under the temperature from negative 30 to positive 55 Celsius degrees holding up a waterproof level of IPv68. Fire or explosion under collision is what we fear the most for the battery and it's getting dealt with by its heat spreading prevention system. All right, all right, the price. It has three tiers. The two versions from the top tier, 600p and 550p, with the hardware set for x 3.5 cost about 34,000 USD and 31,000 USD respectively with a difference of only 50 kilometers range. The numbers I just mentioned stand for the range of the version. The software for Xpilot 3.5 costs 4,000 USD. Honest opinion, the 550p seems to be very tempting, although the 600p does get a 50% discount for the software. It sounds very confusing, but you just gotta know that this is a very smart number game they played to keep the 550p version under 200,000 RMB. A car with LiDARs and city autonomous driving that's under 200,000 RMB. Yeah, that's the one that they're gonna spend most advertisement budget for. The second tier, 550E and 460E, cost 30,000 USD and 27.5,000 USD respectively with Xpilot 3.0 hardware set. The software associated in this tier costs 3,000 USD, 1,000 less than the top tier, and that's equivalent to my P7's auto driving capability. The cheapest tier, 550G and 460G, having the same range as the second tier with only the basic level 2 equivalent of auto driving capability and that only cost 27,000 USD and 24.5,000 USD respectively. So there are 6 versions in total, starting from 24.5,000 USD to 35,000 USD. 
and that is a very cheery price to be honest. Last but not least, some additional information expo from a company strategy level are building their products surrounding vehicles that can be driven, can fly, and can run. Yes, on top of their X2 flying car, recently they have released a white horse, little white dragon. <laughs> That's what they call it. I mean, it's the name of a very famous horse from the Monkey King, one of the most classic Chinese shows. This horse is designed to hang out with the kids, to take the delivery, and of course it does have the auto driving capability as well. After all, it's just a form of AI robot Xpeng's building. Okay, that's about it. Next video, we shall be able to actually experience the Xpeng City Autonomous Driving or at least being able to hear more information on the October 24th Xpeng's Intelligence Day. I'll see you there. Peace.